And there is a lot of news to get into today. Why? Because... It's Friday. Dave Meltzer has released the Wrestling Observer Newsletter for subscribers over at F4WOnline.com. Probably the biggest story of the day so far. AEW and CM Punk are in talks to buy out the remaining years on his contract, according to Dave in this week's newsletter. And this was posted up by Josh Nason on the front page this morning. The news comes less than two months after Punk, Ace Steel, and the Young Bucks, oh, and Kenny Omega, were involved in a backstage brawl after Punk's comments about the Bucks and Omega and Colt Cabana and Hangman Page and... I'm trying to think of who else he uh, he (laughs) shaded during that press conference. But after all that, uh, the all-out post-show scrum, there was a scrum of of their own in the locker room. And Meltzer said neither Punk nor AEW have commented on nor denied the story. He wrote that AEW and Punk were talking about the future, but, quote, it looks doubtful he will be back. Those with close knowledge of the situation said they are in talks with Punk about a buyout of the remaining years of his contract, which tells you that they are not looking to bring him back. The holdup right now is said to be the non-compete period, unquote. He wrote that the non-compete is obviously because of WWE, and they they are the only other group that can pay him what he would ask for. Punk is currently injured from his all-out match with John Moxley, with no timetable set for when he could return. The length of the disputed non-compete was not included. Meltzer pointed out that there's no lock that WWE would want Punk back, even with Paul Levesque on a streak of surprising returns, noting they turned down having Punk return before, despite Fox wanting them to do so. And I I guess that was around the time that uh, he became the commentator on FS1 for a very short period of time. AEW has yet to publicly state anything related to the fight with Tony Khan, refusing to answer questions when asked. It's assumed that Omega and the Bucks were suspended Suspended following the fight while Punk is injured and can't return to action anyway. It's unclear if he's still still suspended despite that. I would probably assume yes if everybody else is. But everybody were that had a title was stripped of them. And Steel, we found out uh, this week, was released in the... Uh... <laughs> In the latest of the some developments in the situation, which, you know, again, this has come up with Tony Khan a lot and not talking about the situation, which is, is a fair thing to do. But I know there's a lot of maybe bad faith actors out there. Actually, I know there's a lot of bad faith actors out there, you know, who are beating, you know, the, the drama on Tony Khan's got to say something. Tony Khan's got to say something. I don't believe Tony Khan has to really say anything about the situation on what's going on. There's an investigation taking place with people who are suspended right now. But you are selling tickets to future shows. And that's where I am flabbergasted at this point, this deep in the game. And frankly, you know, over a month, we're going on damn near a month and a half now since this thing took place. They still haven't said anything about it. For ticket buyers, for event buyers, that's where they need to issue a statement. And and I'm baffled as to why they have not. Just to simply say, there is an investigation going on because of a situation that took place after All Out. Until that time... Everybody is indefinitely suspended. We apologize to those people, you know, who are going to purchase tickets, but we plan on putting on the best show we possibly can. And you could list John Moxley and Brian Danielson and Chris Jericho and all the other names that you have, but it seems like it would be really simple to do that. They have not done that. So there is one thing that is true out of anybody that may be bitching and moaning about Tony Khan and his interviews and and anything about the situation, that's a pretty simple thing that somebody at AEW could actually put out there that would actually inform everyone. Everybody already knows anyway. I'm not saying that 100% of future AEW ticket buyers know what's going on with CM Punk, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and everything that took place. They may not be plugged into Wrestling Observer or other news sources. They may just want to go see the show. But those are the people that you may actually want to reach out to and let them know, hey, they won't be there. So there aren't any bad feelings there. So it's a bizarre, that's still a bizarre that aspect of it is is nuts to me, but I totally forgot this story until just now. 
And it happened when I was a kid. And so I think there's a decent chance that it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so like I was chopping the tree and uh, I just remember looking up and all of a sudden, like this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down. And all of a sudden I was like, I woke up later. This is the weird thing he says. Yeah. It is. Well, it is weird. weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah. That's weird. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.